Hey everybody, welcome to another video from Old Guy Outdoors. If you're already a subscriber, thank you very much. We sure appreciate you couldn't do this without you. If you're new to the channel, hit that little subscribe button right over there and join us every week for our videos. Um, today, we're going to do something special. We're going to do a catch and cook. Now, the catch part, I didn't have the camera on. I kind of screwed up. But I can show you the fish that we caught. And my son is a chef, and he's going to show you how to prepare them so they are delicious. Okay, so here we go with the catch and cook with Joseph Mickey, the chef, in the can. Let's go. Hello everyone, I'm Joseph. I'm Old Guy Outdoors' eldest son. Today we're gonna be doing lemon, rosemary, thyme, uh, rainbow trout. I'm excited, let's get to it. All right, so these are our two beautiful uh, mountain lake rainbow, or mountain lake rainbow trout. And uh, first off, what we're gonna do is just pat them dry, rinse them off in the, in the nice cold mountain river and get them all nice and clean. Gonna pat them dry. Make sure you get the insides also, so everything's dry. Take our salt and salt the skin. You can go pretty heavy on the skin. You don't have to. You don't have to go light because it most of it's most of the salt's going to cook off anyways. So don't worry about over salting your skin. That's not a big deal. And we're going to go ahead and salt the inside. We're also going to pepper the inside. Now I'm not peppering the outside because pepper has a tendency to burn really easily. So we don't want any burnt pepper on our fish, we just want it to taste like pepper. So we're peppering the inside and we're going to cut a few pieces of lemon. I'm going to do a little cut down the middle and just fold it up just like that and then I'm going to place it in the fish just like this. Do that with the other one. Take some of our nice pretty herbs here. I'm going to do a couple sprigs of thyme for each fish and uh, about one sprig of rosemary for, for each fish also. And then I'm just going to stuff it in the cavity. Now 
and we, I have, I found this cool little fish basket. It's basically just, you, it's a clamshell, you open it up, you put your fish in, you close it, you put it right over your fire, makes really good, uh, re cooks really good fish, gets the, the, the skin all nice and crispy. Probably one of my favorite camping tools. I'm just going to place them both right in there. And I'm going to face them toward each other so none of this lemon or rosemary and thyme falls out. And just close it up. Put the latch on. And it's ready for the fire. Gather you up a whole bunch of firewood. You know, whatever you can find, if you need to buy it, go ahead. But we we were able to just uh, walk around our campsite and find a bunch of, of dead dry wood around, just laying around, and then build yourself a big old fire. Uh, let it burn down to uh, to hot coals, and then uh, and start cooking your fish. So as you can see, fire's dying down. Uh, we're starting to get some some coals. Uh, as you can see, there's it's it's still flaming. There's still flames going on, uh, but this is where I want to start because uh, it'll get a nice sear on it from the flames. It'll cook the skin, get it nice and crispy, and then the coals will heat through and cook the fish all the way through. So, like I said, um, we uh, we want the flames to be uh, just dying down to where they're starting to turn into coals coals are going to be hot enough to sear the skin so you can totally if you have a nice hot bed of coals you can totally just put them right over the coals if you even wanted to you can lay it right on top of the coals if they're hot they are not going to stick to that fish so you could just lay them totally right on top let's fill this little pile here off to the side up here so it still cooks a little evenly And I'm just gonna put them in just like that. Then yeah, I'll leave the heads on, especially if they're this small. Some people uh, like the heads on the fish. Um, personally, I like I like the heads on the the, the fish because uh, um, that that tells me when it's done. When the eyes turn completely white and you can see a little black bead in the eye, that's when that's when they're they're finished. So that right there is what you're looking for. I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer because even though the the skin is burnt and a little bit crispy, that meat underneath it is not quite yet cooked. So we're just gonna go ahead and put it right back on. Do it a couple more minutes and then we'll flip it over and put it on the other side. If you want to eat the skin, um, cook it at a slower temperature. Uh, for a longer duration of time, but yeah, uh, most people don't eat the skin, so it's totally up to you. I love the skin personally. I like crispy skin with my fish, so yes, I'm gonna eat the skin. Okay, so we're just gonna start here by pulling that little latch back, <clears throat> and always make sure you have a, a towel or some something to, to hold against that, or a hot pad or something to hold against that grate, because it is very hot. And uh, so what I'm doing here is basically putting my fork in between the, the little prongs to push the, the skin off. My basket's a little, a little bit older and likes to stick a little bit sometimes. And all you're gonna do from that point is push your fork or your spoon down uh, to the spine, so you feel the spine and then run it all the way along the belly until your meat comes right off and it should just come right off. If it doesn't, you, you probably need to cook it just a little bit longer. There's my finished presentation. Thank you oh, this is, this is delicious. You can taste the rosemary. You can taste the lemon. It's flaky and nice. Oh man, delicious. I wish they were bigger trout but they were just little stream trout, so we had to take what we got. Hey, you guys, thanks for watching. 
Joe did a great job cooking our trout for us. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was some information for you. Please uh, like and share our videos. Hit that subscribe button and that bell notification and follow along with us. And if you especially like the cooking video, leave us a comment down below and we'll put in some more for you. Until next time, remember, life's a gift. Get outdoors. See you now. Bye.